Georgia Maloney, leader of the far-right Brothers of Italy party. She's in the final weeks of campaigning ahead of Italy's elections later this month, and she is poised to become Italy's first woman prime minister and its first far-right leader since Benito Mussolini himself. Maloney claims she's not a fascist, but the connection is too close for comfort. Georgia a 19 ans, elle milite depuis deux ans. D'abord dans son lycée, où elle rejoint une coordination d'étudiants de droite, elle distribue des tracts et manifeste contre la gauche. Aujourd'hui, ses références politiques sont celles de l'Italie fasciste. Georgia ne s'en cache pas. Moi, je crois que, que Mussolini, c'était un, un bon politicien. C'est-à-dire que, que tout ce qu'il a fait, il a fait pour l'Italie. Et on ne le trouve pas, ça, dans les, politiciens, dans les politi politiciens qu'on a eu dans les derniers 50 ans. First of all, this is at least Italy's first uh, female prime minister, as was pointed out there. What does that mean when you talking about how much she loves Mussolini and he, whatever he did, he did for Italy? That's always the term. That's what we hear Donald Trump say for America. Who in America? Because plenty of America, plenty of Americans were like that has nothing to do with us, but they just say it. Anyways, there's a connection to how many uh, right wingers here are celebrating this move. Uh, this. Uh, uh, this new leader, uh, her party has these fascist roots like the origin of fascism that formed in Italy, which you could maybe uh, imagine here. Here's some details behind her background. The Brothers of Italy, which Maloney has led since 2014, has an underlying and sinister familiarity. The party escaped a decade ago to carry forth the spirit and legacy of the extreme right in Italy, which dates back to the Italian socialist movement, a party that formed in place of the National Fascist Party, which was banned after World War II. Maloney's platform and stances on these issues sound like a MAGA Republican, as I was pointing out. Her enemies list is quite familiar from here. It says things like LGBT lobbies are out to harm women and family by destroying quote gender identity. George Soros, a quote international speculator, she has said about him, who finances global mass immigration and threatens a great replacement of white native born Italians. It's like if she didn't win this election, she might find herself a role on Fox News. Um, there's these celebrations of this as well, by the way, because they're like, yes, we're seeing something we can possibly emulate here. And maybe we can bring this kind of right wing extremism, or we'll call it fascism here as well. Either way it goes, many folks here are also bashing liberals that are having a problem with this. Let's look at this headline from Fox News where Piers Morgan said, Georgia Maloney isn't far right, she's a fiscal conservative. How much have we heard those types of terms for people who are actually not even far right, but are leaning towards fascism? Um, so more about this because there's other folks that are claiming that the fascism, because they like to flip this and point that way while it's actually in them, is coming from the left. Let's watch this. A first time for women. Where are all the uh, liberal uh, feminists out there celebrating this milestone? They are fully displaying their hypocrisy. We don't see neo fascism because that is not at all what this is. The Democrat Party has more in tune with the fascist uh, agenda than anything conservative. And that's not what fasc fascism has everything to do with socialism. That's why Mussolini joined with Hitler during World War II. And Hitler was not a fascist, Hitler was a socialist, Mussolini was a fascist. And that is not at all what we're seeing in Italy today. When I'm talking about fascism and socialism, I make a clown like smile on my face. You can maybe believe me. Here's some reality. The Nazi regime had little to do with socialism, despite it being prominently included in the name of the National Socialist German Workers Party. The NSDAP from Hitler on down struggled with the political implications of having socialism in the party name. Some early Nazi leaders such as Gregor and Otto Strasser appealed to working class resentments. Does that sound familiar? Hoping to wean German workers away from their attachment to existing socialist and communist parties. One more thing, graphic five, you guys. Instead of controlling the means of production or redistributing wealth to build a utopian society, the Nazis focused on safeguarding a social and racial hierarchy. They promised solidarity for members of the Volkenstaft. Maybe our member out in Germany can help me with that. Racial community is what it translates to, even as they denied rights to those outside the charmed circle. And uh, by the way, Max, there's this whole uh, opposition to Antifa, which they still haven't figured out stands for anti fascists. So if you oppose them, you must be pro.
fascists. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, I am sick to death of it, of, of this idea that, that fascism and socialism are the same thing. The majority of Americans know it's not true. I mean, the fact is the first thing that Nazis did in Germany was come after socialists, trade unions, Marxists, immigrants. There is nothing socialist about it. This, uh, the party that Giorgia Maloney leads was founded by Benito Mussolini's most trusted chief of staff explicitly to continue Mussolini fascism after World War II when you couldn't call it Nazism. I mean, this is something that is anti-gay, anti-trans, anti-immigrant. It wants to essentially expand fascism worldwide. And, and that is something she has not been very secretive about. That was a main plank of her platform. 100%, and by the way, I'm looking at a few of these uh, tweets from many prominent conservatives in this country. Carrie Lake says, Godspeed to at least incredible prime minister elect. Uh, Tommy Tuberville, we live in a world where people are attacked for defending faith and family and having pride in their own nation. Italy's new prime minister, Meloni, appears to be the next target of the socialists for these very reasons. The Italian people have had enough, have we? Do you see the connections that are being made here with this? Sorry guys, these aren't, these aren't graphics, I found these uh, later. They were, they're praising, they're, they're proposing, and they're connecting these same energies to our country. And they want the same thing happening. And they'll just call it right wing, or they'll just call it conservatism. They'll call it for America, when really it's fascism. But they'll make sure they wanna push that, that term to other folks so that people won't focus on the things that they're doing. Just believe them, don't look at what they're doing.